Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's project, we are going to control this RGB LED using an ESP32 web server, but we are not going to write the sketch. We're going to use ChatGPT. Probably you have heard about it. You could ask it and it can understand our language. For that, you will need an ESP32 microcontroller, three ohm resistors, like a 220 ohm resistor, to protect the RGB LEDs inside this RGB LED, and you're going to need few jumper wires for the connection then you could go to this link chat.openai.com for the first time you have to create an account using an email and password and it is completely free for now you could also use these examples to understand it but i think it's so easy you have to ask it with your language and it can understand you like hey chat gpt i want to control an rgb led using an esp32 microcontroller by creating a web server and let's stick with that for now and there you go, sure, I would happy to help you with that. It gives you all of the instructions, like setting up the hardware, which is connecting the RGB uh, LEDs with the ohm resistors. Then we have the sketch that you can copy and paste. On top, it is using the Wi-Fi library, as well as the web server library to create the web server. We have the three pins that we're going to control. The ESP32 gets connected to a network using an SID and password. Here it is not printing the address so that we can reach the web server and control the RGB LED. That's why I don't recommend you to use this tool as your final sketch. You could use it as a starting point or you can try to correct it. Like can you print the IP address so that I can go to the web page. It gives you the line of code that you're gonna need and the final code. Then let's copy it and give it a try using copy code. And use Ctrl A and Ctrl V. Before you can upload it, you have to set few things, like setting the SID and password. We may need to create two variables for that on top. It's much better. But let's stick with that for now. I'm gonna write the name. I have a network that is called my network and the password. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to watch my first video about creating a web server. So the ESP32 microcontroller gets connected to a network using the SID and password. Then you could use any device that is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And by typing the IP address in a web browser, you could reach its web server and control the RGB values. Of course, we need to create the circuit. It's not going to create it for us. We have the RGB LED. I'm going to hook it up to the board like this. The red pin is on the right side. I've already added the three ohm resistors to protect the RGB LEDs. The red LED is connected to the pin number 18. You have to open up the pin out diagram and check for that. It is this pin. On top of it, we have the green pin, number 19. And finally, the blue pin, which is number 21. Last but not least, we have to get back to the ground by connecting the GND pin to the GND of the board. I have this one on top that is labeled GND. We have to select the kind of board that we are using. You could also select it from tools, board, ESP32. And let's give it a try. You have to hold down the boot key. And that starts uploading the code. I've talked about all of these details in my first video. The link will be under the description as well. Next, we have to get the IP address that is printed on the serial monitor. And hit reset. Nothing happens. We didn't have the line of code that begins the serial monitor. Even if we have serial.print the IP address, we have to start it and select the baud rate. Let's go on top and use serial.begin with the baud rate 115200 and hit upload again. And yep, we have the IP address. Let's copy it. Make sure that your computer or your device is connected to the same network and open up a web browser so that we can paste the IP address. And yep, we have this HTML page. We can set the red, green, blue values. Let's select the red color by using 255 under this field and zero for the green and blue. Then hit set color. We have okay. And the LED turns red. Let's give it another try. Like 255 on the red and the green, which is a yellow color. If you mix the red with the blue, we have a purple color. I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. So you see it's really simple to get started with this tool. You only have to ask it the right questions. And if there is a mistake, you could even ask it to correct it. 
If you have any question or comment about this project, make sure to write it under the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next one.